Hello and welcome to my Craft the World Let's Play series, where we in this series play the game called Craft the World. Now, what is Craft the World? Craft the World is a 2D game, as you can see. This is actually how the game will look, the background here, once we get into a game. But Craft the World is a 2D game, as you can see. Um, it's an type of RTS combined with Minecraft in the understanding that you see these blocks most of the world are made out of blocks as you can see another Minecraft part of it is that once it becomes dark monsters like zombies and skeletons come out trying to kill you well I should say kill your people because in this one, you don't just have one man that you control and chop trees and ch mine stone, etc. You actually control many people, which is dwarves in this game, like this guy down here. Hello. <laughs> I like the way he waves. But you get these dwarves. Um, you start off by one and then they will gradually come one by one and you will start building a colony basically of dwarves now the RTS part of it is well kind of RTS part of it because in real RTS you select a group of men or people or tanks or in whatever RTS game we're talking about you select a group of units and then say chop this tree kill this pig uh, go over here, stand over here, etc. But not in this one. You do have more people, yes, but you don't con control what each individually are going to do. So if I say cut this tree, mine this stone here, cut these berry bushes and dig the sand, the the dwarves will split up and do, and yeah, they will split up into three groups. Or one will go over here, maybe three will go down here, and maybe two will go over here. And some will collect the stuff, and stuff like that. So you don't control what each of them does, unless you take physically control over one, and which you actually can do, and move him around where you want him to go. And you can also build with him. Um, yeah, and that's basically it. Um, so you mine materials and you build up your colony. Now, there are different ways to play this. There are sandbox way and there is tech tree way. The tech tree, you follow a tech tree where you must unlock a certain thing before unlocking another certain thing. And that continues all out through the game. And also the campaign mode, let's just choose level here. And as you can see, I have none, so I'm gonna press play. And here, I have campaign and I have custom game. The campaign, there are four levels or worlds in total. And the first one, that is the one we are arriving at. But then the three others are locked until I complete world one, which is gathering, as far as I remember, gathering pieces of a portal and then creating this portal. Now, I have actually never done this, nor seen it, so it's going to be a learning experience for me as well. But I do know that custom game, I can set up whatever kind of world I want. I can set the size to it, I can set the weather events, I can set the world type, the tech mode, science box, or tech tree. The game mode, I actually don't know what does, so that you will have to test or figure out for yourself, because I actually don't know what this does and the difficulty of course is how difficult it is but in this series I'm just going to play the campaign mode so let's get into it and here you can see this is the level one the land of new hope then we have level uh, level two which has a size world of medium here, over here you can see small forest world average hills easy over here the size is medium so it's bigger the world type is ice world, so it's icy. Weather events are still average. Topography is mountains and the difficulty is normal. Then we have level 3, the land of dry winds, which is also a diff 
difficulty level of normal. And then we have the level 4, the land of dangerous caves, which is difficulty hard. Now, I have actually never been to any of these, so I'm actually kind of excited for in the future of the series where we actually get to these new worlds. Because I have never ever seen them. I have played the game before, but I have actually, actually never gotten to the point where I built the portal in this world. So I'm actually kind of excited for that. Alright. That was the introduction of the game. I will speak of the game mechanics once we get into the game. So let's get into the game. Let's press play. And I'm just going to skip tutorial here because I'm going to give it to you. And I'm going to press P for pause and it will pause everything. Except for the particles. Okay. So, what do we have here? Many things on the screen right now. Let's take it one step at a time. Over here is our main menu. And it also shows what level we are on and the level's details. Game time, I believe that's either in one session, how much time you've played, or in overall, I don't know. Then we can leave, we can... I don't know what this button does actually, but we have options here, which is actually a really simple settings option. Page, all right. Over here, this is our tasks or goals, if you, if you want. Now, this is actually not the tech tree. This is just a few things that we can work towards getting because we do want the XP and just for fun gives some tasks. And as you can see, it says tasks. Now, this, what, do, how do you say that? Bestiary? Bestiary? Bestiary, I think. And this just shows us the animals and kind of kinds of monsters we have met so far. Now, because I have had a world before it actually does show these but in the start it actually doesn't show these but we have some ghosts and some skeletons this the skeletons I was talking about we have a snail and we also have big zombie and this guy looks interesting hmm and also notes there are some notes where am I who do I have under my command so beginner's guide I think you can call it also some about the portal, I think it looks like. Yeah, it looks like something with the portal. Anyway, I don't need that. Pause the game again. Just P for pause. And over here, we have our population. It shows how many dwarves we have under our command. Mana, I'll get into that shortly. The coins are obtainable in different ways. I do believe that you can get them through mining and by killing monsters, I think. Um, definitely by killing monsters you will sometimes get these and these are used uh, let's just well big stone mountain which is actually really good because we need a lot of stone okay this over here is our built world border and this is kind of like bedrock in minecraft you can't actually of what I know mine through this um, let's just get there grunts shop let's just unpause for a quick second and this guy actually sells stuff that we can buy for these coins. Now, all of these these things here, I actually don't quite know what does. So it's going to be really exciting. Um, okay, so over here, where are we? There. Over here, we have our experience bar, which is also where all this XP is going. And the more we have, the better because as you can see, zero out of a hundred till next level. And this is actually our level. So we are level one. So by gaining a hundred XP, we will achieve level two, which I do believe per level you get, you actually increase in population and you also might get some random stuff as well. Well, I don't know how random they are, but you will get some items sometimes. I don't know if you will get it all the time, but I have seen it that you mostly get some items anyway. This is the clock and this stuff, this is a tech tree. This just because we can actually build a huge base underground as well. We will in fact be needing to go underground to mine. Um, but this we can allow dwarves to exit the shelter and also to stay inside the building if we want. And I'll show you how to do that later. And this is just some tags at some signs I can place. So if I find some gold, for example, I can say gold or iron. There's some iron ore right here. I can 
put a sign over here saying iron to remember myself to myself hey there's some iron over here take that and over here is the big tech tree where you basically have to unlock something to unlock something to unlock something and it is huge now this is just level one i don't actually know if there will come more stuff in like level two if some some things will be replaced or not i don't know i guess we will find out and i don't i just want to put this out there i don't know if for example if i knew the recipe for this like i know the recipe for this one even though it's, it is not unlocked can i still make it i'm not quite sure but i will actually try to find out anyway wait i'm not done uh okay that is irrelevant because it's set to here we have a mini map so we can easily get to and from one place there we go and we have an equip tab over here where we can equip armor tools and stuff like that to our dwarves and actually they do like over here they have some stats to them as well they also have health and hunger so yes we do need to give these guys food and protect them and i do believe that the only way wait that the only way they can heal is by sleeping so we do want to get some bits but if we had armor and tools we would be able to equip this now these tools two slots they are capable of having extra stuff now i actually don't know what goes into these two right here but we will find that out eventually further in this series and the craft this is another minecraft thing where you have some resources and then you put them into here making a shape and then you get an item back i can choose how many i want to make of it so like i can choose to make 50 at a time i can choose to make 10 or one at a time and this is basically our inventory or stockpile where we have our like stuff we can craft and materials and other stuff like that like over here we have some stuff here now just because i see it i will just explain it as me as the master or general over these dwarves or leader i can use these things called spells which is what costs mana and what the mana is for now right now i have six out of six and this portal this is a portal so if i make a portal over here it will then create a portal back at our dwarf because that is the spawn point if you want and this i don't know if it increases every level but it will increase when we level up for example so then it, i believe it will be nine out of nine and then continue like that i don't know how frequently the mana itself um grows or what's it called increase once we have used some i don't know how frequently that goes or if it actually only restores at a level up i don't know that again we will find that out in later in this series and here you can see the recipe and we need some wood so let's get to that i will just click on some trees here and make him cut those down there we go just left click to choose something that should be chopped hey birdie hey bird looks like an angry bird <laughs> really does okay so this here that forms like a portal that is where we will get new dwarves and this you can see some tools and some chests and stuff behind there and we just got a task complete because we cut down a tree um and this is this is basically our stockpile where they will transport all the stuff they mine and collect over to which then we will be able to see it in here for example now we have two wood now we don't want to waste well not waste use too much of time chopping wood because it will eventually become nighttime and we do want some stone um collected at that time before that so i want to let's see cut this this mine this 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 and that should do for now i cannot remove this until the trees are gone and you can also use right click and if there are two objects like if there were a dirt block behind this tree actually over here is better where there are a background i can just right click or left click to remove that now if there was a tree here for example for some reason 
I would be able to right click to take what's behind it. Now the I believe the maximum of block stacks, if you will, like layers, are two, and then when you once you get underground, it'll be a background that cannot be mined like this. I cannot mine the sky, which is the. But let's get some more stuff. Let's take a look at our tasks again. So collect stone, dig a tunnel, and new technology basic tool making. Yeah. Let's cut down. I can also select the dwarf and see his name, his health and hunger. I can order him to go to sleep. I can also see what he's going to do next, which I actually haven't seen before, I don't think. I can tell him to go eat, I can equip, and I can also control where I say to him, go here. Actually, I control him with my keyboard, which is cool for some situations. Nice. Now we reached, reached level two and we got some awards. So we got a new dwarf, we got a totem, and we got a cone. Yay, which is edible, by the way. And this totem we will be needing shortly. Okay, so let's take a look. We also unlocked basic woodworking, I think, because we reached level 2. So that's good, because we're going to need this stuff right away. Almost. And as you can see, they can actually climb surfaces, but I do believe they climb better on ladder switch. Which is explainable. So... Let's craft some stuff. We got some new stuff here. Let's get a... Because I like starting like underground. So I think this is a good place to do it. So let's go into this. We will need this later, so I'll put that there. I will make a wooden hatch. So all I do is click on it. You can also click the I button for some information. But then I just click on the material. Takes the material and double click it to fill out nearby touching slots and I'll just make one and we do want some ladders I do believe we want four of these so I'll make four and that is I don't know if that's all the woodworking no we need to make something more also you can hover over an item to see how much it would fill up so we do want actually now I can take that Okay, so I can place this here. I can also take some, have we gotten any dirt? No. So once he takes that and collects it and puts it back over here, I will be able to take it down here in my hotbar and place it back here. Yeah, he just fell because we don't have some proper ladder set up. So let's put that there. And I'll start mining out in this area here to make room for bits to begin with. I will flatten out this area eventually so that we have a smooth surface. Also this part and stuff. I want to have a smooth surface for build when building a house. Also, I didn't say this, but that does it that don't just come monsters out in the night. There will come a counter up here. I believe it's every hour. Um, there will come a monster wave where a portal will open up and a bunch of monsters will come out. And then we will defeat that, hopefully. And then uh, the counter will start over again. And for that, we kind of want some strategic positions for our dwarves to defend ourselves. Now, I do actually need more stone, so I actually wouldn't mind them getting mining this stuff here. Okay, so this is a book, and we can actually use, equip these to these guys, because this guy over here, I forgot to mention this, this is special abilities if you want, or yeah, special abilities or passions. So this guy has a special ability for cooking, so he's extra good at cooking. And this is a miller. And if we wanted to make any of these extra good at hunting, we could use this book and just click use and this guy would become a hunter. Or we could use it to increase the skill of one that is already a hunter, which is pretty cool. Now we do want torches, but we haven't unlocked that yet. So I really want to start making stuff with this. So let's, let's get our guys geared up. So we want some sort of weapon which is at the moment a club 
we also because they do a lot of wood chopping and mining we do want to give them means of doing that faster and more efficiently so let's do that and i can sadly only make one axe right now because i have only three stones but okay there we go i can close that 200 xp nice so now we unlock this one which is the one i actually want a lot because we want the bits so they can regenerate their health quickly but we need leaves so for that i believe we need to go for bushes oh dear not many bushes around are there no sadly so we will have to make them go all the way over here is there a specific place for many bush with many bushes i don't think so i mean we could buy some of this guy if we had gold but we do not now uh, we also got a close supply of iron which will be really handy once we get into that right there we go there are some leaves over here okay so i want to you know what let's just make a extra club just because when we are close to get a new dwarf and we want them to be able to defend themselves so let's get our first guy here let's get him a weapon a pickaxe and an axe and then our second guy will get a club and a pickaxe sorry buddy don't have an axe for you yet go chop some leaves <laughs> You gotta work for what you get okay so these guys can only reach this high so and also we got a leaf here i do want more though um yeah i do want more and it's starting to become night time and i really want some bits putting down here and some lighting uh keep in mind i haven't played this in a while so yeah sorry about that <laughs> let's you know what let's make another wooden hatch we are going to get some extra wood here anyway and we completed this and we reached level three we got a wood some roots and an extra dwarf and yeah it per level i don't know if it's for every level but wait this is this is why i built this take take this take, here beat that insect or whatever it is yeah teach it a lesson there we go it does take more xp per level to level up now i don't know if it does this for every level but for right now at the start at the beginning it took a hundred xp now it takes a thousand so yeah also get rid of these snails okay so let's take okay now we unlocked the torches and we have resin i don't actually remember from what from pine okay so we get this from pine and i can just do this and let's make eight of those also it did unlock armor which is going to be really important so we can start making armor so these guys can protect themselves and backpacks which makes it possible for them to carry more stuff at a time now i can just quickly use this down here and it will take one mana away from me and it also is, i don't know what that number actually says also it's raining great let's put some torches down here and for that actually i do want to control this guy because what i can do is then do that climb up up on it and i'm actually using my keyboards as you can hear to select these guys so i'm just gonna deselect that and do this manually and this is actually very handy for wanting stuff done like quickly so i can walk over here maybe i can i can mine that away i can do that i don't know can i reach that no i cannot okay good enough then i can place this down again i should have mined it then i can dig that then dig this and that's three and then a four at the fourth no don't take that put a torch and dig the dirt cool and i can just do release and just click away to get him off focus yeah yeah stop complaining um let's see how much stone do we have now 
still only two. Hmm. Well, these guys will get to it eventually. And we have three leaves. Also, rope can be made from wool, so we will need to find some sheep. Okay, so now we got an extra X, which we will give to this guy. I can't actually pronounce that name. Dwarf names. Difficult to pronounce. Uh, let's actually start mining some of this stone here instead of all this and i see to the right we have some uh, visitors some skeletons now i don't actually know if these guys get harder to beat per level but i was just playing in a world and yeah they weren't that tough and they are kind of smart they help each other out so we have two incoming and this one is just stuck because he don't know what to do he can't do anything so yeah we'll just beat these guys up with our clubs there we go and two wooden hatches two apples and a new dwarf and here you can see estimated time before next monster wave is 50 minutes so one hour wasn't actually correct sorry okay so we got a new guy coming in so the most important thing i didn't make that did i no i didn't great so let's make that for our new guy and equip it jasper is that how you pronounce that i'm not sure sorry if it's wrong let's mine that and i would really really like to actually get a bed built what's this bones and you know what let's make one bed and call it an episode because it is quite long there we go so now it will come down over here and these are ghosts and they will just take stuff from our like stockpile and throw it out to the on the ground so we want to get rid of those also get that snail not because i have anything against snail but in the game they're just kind of annoying okay so i think we'll make this area over here like the sleeping room bedroom i will make a building eventually with like in the end we will or further up we will need um what's it called again placeables that f the dwarves go to and actually make stuff and they will have to be placed in the world somewhere so i think i will make buildings for that but for right now i just want these guys oh yes right we need to place down our totem because that will designate for the dwarves here is a shelter go here when you need to sleep eat and stuff like that so this guy takes a totem and we do want actually to make it as comfortable as possible so if i hover over it says comfort average 38 percent and i can increase that by adding like good walls and better outside walls and actually putting furniture in and you can see these stars indicating where the shelter is so right now it is actually isn't that much we have right now but we will expand eventually and also get down to the time and now i can place this bed here for someone to use and who is it going to be to place the bed also, how much stone do we have? Let's chop some of... Oh, man. Let's, um, let's actually get that. How much stone do we have? Um, six. Okay, so I can get two pickaxes. Actually, I want one pickaxe. And the rest axes, like so. And I think that will add up, maybe? So let's go to our, this guy here, give him a pickaxe and an axe, and Jasper, you will get an axe. Sorry, you don't have a pickaxe yet. And we place down a bed. I would then be able to, oh, do I do this, select dwarf, and I can actually go through them, and I can see that this guy over here has actually taken a 
bit of damage here. I could tell him to go to rest, but I'm not going to because we have another hunter's book. Yay. Because we have work to do. And let's kill that snail. And let's place another dirt just because I want the water away. I don't have a way to remove water yet. And now because they did this, uh, that is one, two, three. Let's place another torch. And you know what? That will wrap up this episode. And I'll do this. And now you can see it takes a bigger area. But yeah, that will wrap up this episode. We will have to, in the next episode, get some rope so we can from some sheep. Hey, sheep. Hey, sheep. Um, so we can make some armor for these guys and actually go through this technology tree here. Also, we do need to make some more torches, I think. And we can... Tables are actually important for storing food and these guys will become hungry. So I will have to put some tables down so they can go and eat and also then we will master unlock basic cooking yeah a lot to do and a long way to go to get to this stuff <laughs> yeah anyway while we watch our dwarves work from a distance thanks for watching hope you enjoyed and if you enjoyed remember to leave a like comment and share it with your friends and if you're new subscribe to the channel anyway hope you enjoyed and i hope to see you next time bye bye